The incredible story of how the hippopotamus almost became a staple of the American diet. In the early 1900s, the United States began to experience a meat shortage. Overgrazing, overpopulation, and a surging demand abroad were the main causes. At the same time, southern Louisiana was being overtaken by an invasive species, water hyacinths, which were transported there as a gift from the Japanese delegation during the 1884 World's Fair. The hyacinths multiplied like rabbits, entirely covering swamps, bayous, rivers, and other water bodies, making navigation by boat almost impossible, destroying shipping routes, and greatly affecting local ecological systems. In less than 20 years, Louisiana was covered in water hyacinths. The army even tried pouring oil on them and setting swamps on fire. But the seeds can survive for almost 30 years. Louisiana Congressman Robert Broussard gathered two partners, adventurer and Boy Scout founder Frederick Burnham and Fritz Duquesne, a big game hunter who spied for Germany during both world wars. The partners created the New Food Supply Society with the goal of importing hippopotamuses to Louisiana. They argued the hippos would eat all the hyacinths that were covering the water and would provide a significant source of meat for the South. Amazingly, the plan had the full support of Teddy Roosevelt and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. In 1910, Broussard introduced H.R. 23621, also known as the American Hippo Bill. The plan would have cost $250,000 at the time, about $6 million today. It had the support of the New York Times, the Washington Post, and many other major papers. The New York Times even wrote how excited it was for Lake Cow Bacon. The bill failed by one vote. And while Burnham and Duquesne both tried to continue the project, the Mexican Revolution and World War I would eventually draw away their attention, and the plan was forgotten. Today, the state of Louisiana spends millions of dollars regularly spraying herbicides to destroy the water hyacinths.